You ready to laugh? You ready to laugh at some news bloopers? <coughs> so am I. One, two, three. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I ain't messing with you. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not messing with you. Mm. Get these dogs fed, clean, and fed. Is that it? Is that a word? Yeah. They're closing? Yes, next Tuesday. Okay, the last thing I want to be when the end of the world comes is sober. Wonder Woman. Whoops. <laughs> Fell off. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, good morning. Yes, a big day today. In less than 10 minutes, these doors will open. Oh, they're open now. Look, do you think... Ow! <laughs> I know that hurt. <laughs> I know Don't that swear. hurt. Don't swear. Breathe, breathe in. Breathe in. <laughs> that was my shame, though. First time shame on me. Second time. Or first time shame on you. First time. Second time. Wow, I totally messed that up, man. It's okay. First, first time. We got, we got what you're trying to say. I don't know where the one is, so it can't be grabbed. That's where WMC Action News 5's Kelly Roberts is live this week. Kelly, can you tell us <laughs> Hey, good morning, Ariana and Andrew. Hello. Let's put her hair, too. And she hasn't been able to get a test yet, and I last saw her on Thursday. So it's been a week since I've seen her. Hi, this is my cat. That is the perks of working from home. <laughs> <laughs> Cats always Let's start the weather now. If you wanted to get outside, spread your legs a little or stretch a little, today was a, a great day to enjoy. Meteorologist Craig Flint here now with your... Fox first forecast. <laughs> yes. Take it away. Major food retailers coming together in this way is unusual. It shows that they're trying to send a clear message to their customers to be considerate of each other when it comes to buying, okay. particularly when the most vulnerable in society might not be able to find the items that they need. Of course, it's a we already of saw you, lady. Madness. It's also a popular time to get vasectomy. Really? Did you know that, Greg? I know, I know. Doctors at Cleveland said he was, he was looking at me like, really? Really? Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Uh, I want to show you a live look here. This is uh, Concord Road, excuse me, uh, 31 at, uh, at I-65. Going to go ahead and apologize. My Alexa is uh, going off. Alexa, off. You know, just, just what you get for working from home. Coming up at 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the egg industry. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Are you getting that? <laughs> at 10 o'clock, how the coronavirus is affecting the egg industry. <laughs> Look affecting our local farmers. <laughs> <laughs> so much lit. Gateway to the Stars is actually their next one tomorrow. Uh, that's at 7 p.m. Dollars are three tickets. Or... Tickets are $3. <laughs> so immersed in this, it's messing me up. Anyway, reporting live, Bay City, uh, Blake Keller, WNEM TV5. Hey, we found out how much the tickets were. Yeah, you gotta love those three ticket dollars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to another court in Edinburgh there now. In a moment, um, I forgot your name, Ben. Ben is here with the latest business news that's coming. Gentlemen, it's a busy day. Uh, latest business news coming up in just a moment. First, let's bring our headlines here on Afternoon Live. A sick. Hello to you, I'm Ben Thompson, Simon. <laughs> oh fuck, what the hell is that? She was a good sport. A lot of people have been creeped out oh, by oh. that. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how many new bloopers happen all the time. And as we get into the afternoon, those winds are going to kick up. So a southwesterly breeze at 15 miles per hour, gusting up to about 25. So it will be a breezy day, but those winds will increase even more on Monday. Not as, hmm, that's supposed to be cold. You know what? Blame it on the time change. I don't know. 47 degrees.
degrees, not as cold, not as hand. I don't know. Wow. All right, so what's in store for today? we got team coverage for you. We're going to start things off with uh, less Krypton. Ooh, hey, you don't splash. Oh, hey, come on, that's <laughs> rude, man. You got wet. Sorry, bud. Did you got wet left? I got wet. Oh, man, I'll yeah. dry you off. Hey, guys, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. What does that even mean? Right? What that does that even mean? I have to run that back. Oh, oh no. Oh, we're going to be trolling that. I thought they were going to say something about her, you know what I mean? Weekend forecast. Hey, Chelsea, good morning. Good morning, John. We're telling you our temperatures outside this morning are in the 40s to start the day. It is a mild morning across southern New England with rain showers moving through the area. And we're going to continue to see some... <laughs> There you go, there you go, that'll work. We're going to continue to see scattered. Trying to smile through that. The area as we head through the day today. Uh, the breeze, here I come. The breeze is going to be picking up out of the southwest. You seen him walking away. So here he come. Here he come. Well, welcome to viewers of the United Kingdom. <laughs> oh, I'm here for toilet paper, water, dog food, dog pot, uh, hand sanitizer, uh, rice, beans. I was here three days ago and I was number one. I was number one. I was here before six o'clock. I was number That's one. That's Carl's mom. Today, look, I thought they're going to be number one again, but it's not the case. <laughs> Toilet paper, it's a must. Hand sanitizer, it's a must. Hand wipe, it's a must. Bread, <laughs> peanut butter, yeah. I love it. It's fun. It's Carlo, your mom on the news. I love it. Oh, it's going to be a good one. At the Chattanooga Zoo, baby Komodo dragons are making history at just seven months old. Oh, I've got this. I know you do. I do. They are the first babies at the zoo to have just one parent. Komodo dragons can reproduce through a process, John, called parthenogenesis. <laughs> okay, anyway, you got the point. Parthenogenesis. I didn't know they could do that. Instead of mating, the female fertilizes her own eggs. Uh, keeper Max de Groot says the process could be useful to help the population. You made me nervous, okay? <laughs> All right, so Larry, Rob, and Paula working from home with this whole social distancing thing. I got a message from one of our Facebook, Facebook viewers, Mark Birmingham. He said, take some Hot Wheels and line them up to simulate like you were showing traffic from the helicopter. And I... Have nothing else to do, so are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, let's see. Here we go. Oh, this is traffic on a normal Chicago weekday. Oh my god. This is traffic now. There That's is true. no traffic, but there That's is true, still construction, shit. so I got said you still have to be careful and watch for their work. Isn't much traffic out there? There is still construction. Got it? Got it. Small. I thought they were baking cookies. Yeah. 
Or is it fog? <laughs> when you said that a couple years ago, I just about died. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> a little smoky out there, a little foggy out there. And from spring heat to chilly weather, I'll let you know when the cold air will move in and temperatures will hit the 40s. That's coming up today on News 3 at 4. Thanks. Mic drop, everybody. Have a good weekend. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what the hell dance she's doing, but stop. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. You've had some of your daily laughs with me. I always love watching bloopers. Because they're timeless. Bloopers never stop coming. People are people. People make mistakes. News is live, and when it's live, mistakes can happen. There's a reason why bloopers will never stop. Bloopers will never stop. And keep sending them to me. If you enjoyed this reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers!